Welcome to the video of Vort. Hashem charges Bnei Israel to go check out the land of Israel, come back, report to the people about the beauty, the splendor, the wonder of the land, so they will be encouraged and inspired to take on the daunting task of entering and conquering the land of Israel. Now the land of Israel is referred to in Sefer Daniel as Eretz Hatzvi, which means a beautiful, a splend, a land of splendor. It also means the land of the deer. The rabbis tell us that this is because the land of Israel is similar to a deer, just as the hide of a deer, when connected to the body, expands to cover the entire body of the animal, and when it is detached from the animal, it shrinks and can no longer cover that same space. Similarly, the land of Israel, when it is connected to its uh, natural inhabitants, to the people of Israel, expands to support to cover, to nourish the people of Israel, and when it is detached from uh, its natural inhabitants, it shrinks and will no longer do its and no, no, will no longer do its job and will not be able to support and sustain its inhabitants. Asks Rabbi Teichman in the beginning of his book, also called Eretz Hatzvi, why indeed is the land called Eretz Hatzvi, the land of the deer? It is the land that belongs to the deer. Rather, it should be called Eretz Tzvi, a deer-like land. Answers Rabbi Teichman, it is the Bnei Israel who must be the deer. We must take on the qualities of the deer and expand ourselves to understand and regard Eretz Israel with the appropriate kedusha that inheres from it, to observe the, land, the mitzvos of the, of the land. And when we expand ourselves to the land of Israel, it in turn will expand itself to cover, support, and nourish us. It is a symbiotic relationship. The land is the tzvi, we are the tzvi. When we expand ourselves, Eretz Yisrael will expand itself to us. Good Shabbos.